All right, so we'll do Tunic. Because it's one of the most well-known games in the next fest. But it's also one that I think is actually going to come out this year. So we're going to turn that volume down just a touch. All right. So if you're familiar with the life form, then you're probably familiar with some of the sound this music has. Soundtrack is one of the reasons I was definitely interested in this game. So here's Tunic. We can splash in the water. We have our little stamina bar and our health bar. And some trees to dig through. But yeah, this is a game that's been in development for a very long time then. Yeah, like I said, I'm happy to do Corpse Party. If I'm able to do one of these streams, I'll definitely pop it in. It's just that uh, I'm always a little concerned with visual novels where it's like, am I sure what I'm getting into with this? I kind of want to play ahead of time. Yeah, this has been in development forever. So find a sick, find, find a stick, find a sword, find some secrets. So one of the interesting things about this game, this level, et cetera, et cetera. And this area is not very, this area is not like very long are very big that I've seen. So we may actually have time to do both. Um, so we found a stick. And we can fortunately use this thing to work and then smashy smash. So if we just have a stick, who can we beat with it? I don't know. So that's all blocked off right now. Okay. The combat does have a little bit of an auto lock, but also I need to do a better job of dodging. So somebody dropped their head there. By the way, I really like the water. That's very pretty. It does look a lot like a mini golf course style of water, but it's pretty. So we don't know how to read that, but probably it means bad things up ahead. Let's see if we can beat you with the stick before this is said and done. We can't open doors. We don't have that technology yet. Probably there's a key there. Okay. Oh look, I didn't get immediately killed. I got a little killed. So there's a treasure chest there. Might be some super secret way to get to it. Okay. Monster Hunter rules. Hit it till it dies, don't get hit. I mean, they're all so cute. Why would we want to kill any of these things? Alright, so here's a shrine. Like I said, it all, it looks, it looks good. Oh no, I agree. I, I love that color palettes are actually coming back a little bit. Now there's some games that I've played that do have very muted stuff and it works out pretty well. But yeah. I am very glad that people are introducing color back into games again. And just so you know, this is a demo. We can't go into the water wheel. Or not the water wheel, the windmill. And uh, I'm out of stamina. So I need to not let that get to me. We actually can't cross some of these other ways as well. Like I said, this is a this demo area is kind of small. Which is why I'm saying I may actually have time to um, do both of those things real quick. Oh god. Especially if I get my butt killed right here. So there's a sword. I was thinking left trigger would be like sneak attack. But we've just got... Okay, I'm just gonna get hit a bunch of times. That's a, that's a really good plan. Okay, now if we get the sword real fast... Yes, look! Sword! It's a sword. 
Equip it same as the stick. We don't... Do we have any charge attack? No, we're just about to die, so... Let's see if I could try not to get killed here. Let's see, swords, they're very effective. We also got a... something. Alright. Okay, apparently it's a piggy bank. Oh, that's death. Now one other thing about this game is that if you die, you can recover your stuff Dark Souls style. You just have to go back and get it. So we can try that recovery real quick. As long as we uh, wake this guy up, give him a good time. I love that this other guy's just sitting with his back to me, just not really doing anything. What? All right, so there's our there's our treasure chest of stuff. There is our killer over there. Okay, so recovery, whatever that means. Now, is this actually totally blocked off? Looks like somebody was very lazy with this sign. Okay, so this is super blocked off. This looks like it should be a shop. Oh, treasure. So that's probably a key to somewhere. There's a little fox plushie to somewhere. Alright. There's even more money and... Dynamite! Times two. Alright, so this might have used to have been a store. Still can't go this way. If there's a map button in this game, I am unaware of it. If there's a run button in this game, I'm unaware of it. But most Zelda-style games don't have a run button. Shame I can't knock him into the water. Alright. So we got a key for something. I saw a door that might be locked. Okay. It works. Magically. Okay, I don't know what that means. Also don't know what that means, but it's fine. We'll break some pottery because that's just the rules. Yeah, and we have, we have our roll for that kind of dash thing. I guess. So let's see here. I saw another locked door. Well, let's heal up first. So we got places we can go potentially up here. Oh, I bet I need to drop. Sealed forever. I've played Death's Door. I know that's not true. All right, so... By the way, let's uh let's just take a moment to realize that this sword something we have our own language that we need our cipher for. And then we have actual printed writing. So I don't know if that's just a demo thing that says you absolutely will not be able to get into this door in the demo or what. A little immersion breaking, but I think it's more interesting. Not not like game breaking or anything. It's a it's a freaking demo. So let's go down here. Because obviously you can't have a demo without a big, scary pit to climb down. No, I agree. The presentation here is very... presentation here is very good. So we got a big blobby monster. And I need to n not get exploded by it. Seems like a solid plan to generally not want to explode like like that okay so moving you you may not be able to see as much but moving around in water is actually a little sluggish all right that's a shield 
We have a shield? Oh, look at me. I'm a fox with a shield. That's kind of cute. All right. And uh, looks like we got a secret treasure chest, and that is a, uh, I guess it's a healing bottle. I wonder if that'll recharge anytime we rest. So we'll just walk into this nice, very dark and very scary cave. That is now not so dark and scary. Because we have a convenient save point. Okay, cool. And we have a letter here, and this letter says... It's a map! Nice. Under the well. Slorm, a type of slime who wants to be close to you. Stun it by blocking. Autobolt, wants to protect something, but what? Circle around it and use a shield. Tip, right trigger for shield. Um... Oh, so this is actually like the instruction manual for the game. Focus, inventory, move, item, flask, shield. A button to hold for roll. We just entered there. So we just hit the save point. So we got a whole map for the place. Let's see if we can get the boss. And then we have a uh, interesting Finji Discord. All right. So let's do some dungeon crawling. Okay. That was pretty effective. That was kind of terrifying, though. So we need to go up here, obviously. Can we kill you before you get a hit in on us? Yes. Alright, so this bridge we'll be able to knock down later. Interesting that I can't roll right now. Alright, so this is all pretty linear at this point. So, red alert, shields up. Okay, our shield reaction time kind of sucks. Okay, let's see how much our flask kills us for. A bit. I guess we'll have to see how to recharge the flask. Okay. Okay, that's probably not optimal. Okay. So, lots of exploding enemies. That's fun. So, I guess, assuming we die, pretty safe assumption. Then we can get back here, maybe? Alright. So, what else do we have down here? Looks like these are all kind of separated for now. So I guess if I die, I'll just have to recover and not fail so well. All right. So this seems terribly suspicious. Okay, that actually... Wow, we got the combo hit. Nice. And uh, what are you? So right now we have this area. No torch to speak of. Okay, that's terrifying. Do not want to mess with that. Another flask. And uh, let's see what else we got in our inventory real quick. Just some dynamite. Um, okay. Let's not overdo it now. So we got another monster down here. Ouch. Um, okay, we just snuck our way to a treasure chest. Hope it's worth my time. So we got a second little triangle. Maybe that door isn't sealed for as forever as I thought. Oh, hello. Oh god, they're all after me now. I have to fight these guys blind. Well, that's a good way to die. Okay, um... So I missed the stairs, apparently. Also, do we have our items? Okay, good. So technically, we lost our money. And did we keep the bridge? 
I guess this wasn't the place I was concerned about with the bridge. Oh, they follow you into other rooms! No escape. So it's this is all this is all interconnected. That's awesome. Very surprising. No, I can agree with that. The ones that do make unique games do to have a, do seem to have some kind of unique voice. I'll 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 buy into that. Okay, run please. Run! Wow. You know, I did that so well the first time. Okay, this time let's stop messing around and let's just recover our corpse. They'll never find us, right? Okay, nope. Nope, nope, nope! So, I recovered a bunch of nothing. See, that worked better. So, I didn't pay enough attention to the map. I don't want to know. Radio the Universe... I've heard allegedly that's coming out this year. I will believe it when I see it. Alright, so we're wandering in the dark. Doesn't seem to be too much else. Alright. So I guess I did go the right way. Punch these barrels because I'm having a bad day. Okay, not not a auspicious start. Oh, they have shields too. Okay, so we flask it up. Can we get some friendly fire up in here, please? Not like that. Oh! Look, I died again. All right, well, I'm going to try to play it smart this time. So we're going to skip what we can skip. I really like little details like the little fox looking at enemies as we walk by. Dude, you can you can stop now. I can't stop the bum rush, I know, but All right. So if we stop messing around, There we go. No reason to get double exploded. Don't need to worry about you necessarily. We can potentially skip some of this issue. So there's that up there. You guys all missed me. So how did they get up? Huh. They must have actually jumped down into the water. Well, that does not bode well for me. Alright. Okay, shouldn't have... Shouldn't have taken that line. Thank you, based iframes. Well, let's do this one at a time, then. Please die. Alright, so we can use enemies to destroy other enemies. I just gotta watch out for these guys because they have shields. So let's uh, use our best Zelda skills here. Not like that. Okay, so one of you doesn't have a shield. And I don't know why. So we just got to get you on the big wind up here. All right, so that green bar, I think, is a reflection of our stamina. All right. Why am I having so much trouble with you? There we go. 
Fortunately, they don't explode when they die. Look! I live, and more importantly, I should be able to go up here and pop open another shortcut. Let's get to a better area of engagement. Oh, this is fine. Just roll past them. All right. So if we go down here, we should be able to drop a bridge. Somebody's still trying to attack us. That means that if we die, and I am about to die. That I should be able to uh, fight a boss. This looks like, if this is a boss type area, this is probably where I'd be. Treasure chest. It's a something. Um, whatever it is. All right. Oh my god, these are enemies. Of course they are. And why wouldn't they be? You notice I don't auto-lock very much. I don't really do that a lot in these kind of games. Maybe that's to my detriment. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty much my view on it, is that... It'll be here when it, it, it is here. Is this a bridge I can take? Okay, we're just going to go full aggro here. Because I don't want to test my fate and see if I swing a sword if I fall off here. Okay, we just open a treasure chest. I have no idea what that does. I guess we'll find out in a second. Um, we can kind of get behind what dynamite does. All right, so that guy finally decided to follow me. So this area is blocked off. Let's go hug a boss. Oh god. Can we uh Okay, so that door is closed. So this is this is the guy I want to fight. All right. For some really dumb reason, I wasn't exactly sure if that was the fight. So it's the fight. All right. I've got this. Nothing bad could possibly happen here. Except for having these guys have completely different timing. Wow, that hit actually hurt a lot. Okay. So we're just going to play it safe and get full health. And then we're just gonna try what Y does. Oh, freeze. That's uh, pretty convenient if I didn't just let myself get hit. Wow, swinging a whiff. Okay. okay we're, yep, I was about to say, I need to use my shield more. So Fight Night is getting ready to come out. Okay. That's good. I've heard about that one. Not in a long time, though. Okay, let's, uh, since we lost all of our cryogenic things. I got time for one or two more tries. It looks like I'll have to maybe do one more round of games here. I can find a few other demos. That I'm interested in doing. I wasn't exactly expecting to do Tome, but it's fine. All right, much better ad management that time. Tome, I said Tome. Tome's a totally different game. Tunic, that's what this game's called. All right. So can we surprise them with explosives? Yes, we can. Okay. Always be shielding. Oh, wow. It took the big guy out. Okay. How can I screw this up? Who said using your expendables is too much? Okay, now tell me. Was that the boss? Or is that just the mini boss and this is the boss? I have a feeling that actually... Wow, what a, what a strong little fox. 
So that was the tiny fight before... This, this is what I was expecting for... No, that was, that was it. Okay, we're in a new area. And there's a treasure chest I can't get to. I have a feeling we've come to the end of our journey. Perhaps. See what's down here. And we have another spyglass that says... Let's look out here and see what the future holds. So, Tunic. There we go. So thanks, uh, Char, as I'll call you now, and uh, Fear Ixia, or Pyrexina. I, God, I can't say words today. But thank you both for uh, popping in here again, and uh, anyone else who was able to pop in here that I might have missed, sorry about that. Definitely appreciate the other little reminders for other games that are floating out around there, too. Uh, I think I will hopefully be able to get one more of these in. This Steam event runs through the 7th, but I'm pretty sure as long as you have the demos downloaded, they're down. So definitely two that are on the list that I want to do um, are ones that I mentioned before. But yeah, I'll get that list together later. That's it for now. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to cut here. So you all have a good one. See you next time.